Hello friends, welcome to Bible in One Year. My name is Amy. Our reading for today is found in Luke chapter 13 through chapters 15. But today I want us just to focus in on Luke chapter 15. This is one of the most popular and most loved chapters of the Bible. It has also been called the gospel in the gospel. This is a chapter that clearly demonstrates God's extraordinary and extravagant love for each one of us. A God who tenderly searches for sinners and then forgives them. This is the love of the Heavenly Father, a love that prompted Jesus to come to earth to search for lost people, to die on the cross, to save the lost. Luke 15 starts by telling us that the religious leaders and the Pharisees are very bothered by the fact that Jesus is hanging out with tax collectors and sinners. It is interesting to note that the sinners and the tax collectors are coming to hear what Jesus has to say. Why is that? Why are they drawn to Jesus? Could it be that they know that Jesus cares deeply for them and that Jesus has something to say to them? How many of us know someone that needs Jesus, who desperately needs his forgiveness for their sins? We can share the extraordinary love the Father has for them by doing what Jesus did, caring deeply for them, and hanging out with them. Jesus, in response to the Pharisees being disgruntled about him hanging out with sinners and tax collectors, tells a story, a parable. Although the parable was told in the hearing of the tax collectors and the sinners, it is directly aimed at the religious leaders and the Pharisees. Jesus was making the same basic point in each of the three stories in Luke 15. It's really one parable with three parts. In each of the stories of the sheep, of the coin, and the sun, something is lost, sought, found, and finally followed by rejoicing. Jesus' point was to contrast his heart and the Father's heart for the lost with the Pharisees and religious heart towards the lost. Jesus is the shepherd, the woman, and the father in this parable. He has come to seek and to save the lost. And every time he saves a lost person, he invites heaven and earth to join him in rejoicing for the salvation of the lost person. Do you share in Jesus' joy for the salvation of the lost? Maybe today you are like that father in Luke 15. You have a child that is turned away from the Lord. Or maybe it's a parent or a sibling or just a really dear friend. You, like the Father, you stand waiting for your loved one to turn their heart and life over to the Lord. He is waiting with you. He's waiting to pour his extravagant love out on your loved one and to embrace them as his child. He is waiting to rejoice over, the, over an eternity changed. Today, keep praying, keep having conversations with him, and keep waiting. Today, let's also have the heart of the Father and the heart of Jesus for the lost. Let's care and love deeply as Jesus did. And let's join with heaven in rejoicing when we hear of someone who was lost that has been found. You guys have a great rest of your day.